Hello everyone, Jeff here with an example of finding the value of a stock using the constant growth dividend valuation model. The idea here is that when you purchase a stock, you are part owner of it and therefore you are entitled to a bunch of cash flows that come in the future. In this valuation method, what we're considering is the fact that we're going to receive dividends uh, starting next year and continuing forever and those dividends are going to grow so they're not just going to be the same every year they're going to grow and in this model they're going to grow at some constant rate so we have the formula here and our example a stock has a current dividend of four dollars a year the dividend has been growing at a steady rate of seven percent and we're going to assume it's going to continue to a CAPM analysis gives you a required return of 9%. Review the video on CAPM if you need to. And then find the fair value of this stock. So the one thing that probably goes wrong most often when doing a problem of this type is noting that the top of this fraction requires next year's dividend, not this year's dividend. And in this question, we're given the current dividend. So what do we do? Well, we know the current dividend and we know the growth rate 7%. So what we can do is take the current growth or current dividend $4 and multiply by 1.07. 0.07 represents 7%. So if we multiply by 1.07, we're increasing the $4 dividend by 7%. That gives us 428 for next year's dividend. We can then apply the formula. We take next year's dividend, $4.28. We divide by, we need parentheses here if you are doing this in a calculator or Excel to get the um, proper order of operations. Uh, the required rate of return is from the CAPM analysis. It is 0.09, 9%. And it says to subtract the growth rate, which is given as 7%, 0.07 close parentheses here and that tells us the fair value of this stock $214 if the price of the stock is less than $214 it means we will get our or we will be expected to get our required return of 9% if the price of the stock is actually more than $214 we are not going to get our required return so the two most important things to remember here um, that sometimes go wrong the formula uses next year's dividend and if you're putting this into a calculator or Excel, we need parentheses in the denominator to uh, do this in the proper order. 